Good day, Crustacean Nation, Sir Peronalot here with another video. Today we have a bit of an unboxing. Um, I ordered a bunch of sand and other bits and bobs um, from a store called Aquarium Gallery. Um, they just had the cheapest stuff that I could find and pretty much the only place actually had this stuff for sale. Um, a lot of the places were out of stock. So I'm going to attempt to just cut it down here and hope that everything doesn't fall out. Um, as you can see, it is a bit of a heavy box because it's full of substrate. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it down. So I've actually had this box sitting here for a couple of weeks uh, ready to be opened and I sort of forgot what was inside. Um, I knew I got the sand that's here um, but there are a few other things that I sort of just threw in to uh, get free shipping. Um, so we're going to have a look at what those were exactly. So we're just going to go ahead and take the sand from the bottom here. So the sand that I ordered is the La Plata sand. Um, it's a sand I've used before in my shrimp tank and I really like it so I want to use it for something more than that. I um, actually put it in an actual aquascape. So I ordered 16 kilograms of it, um, that'll last me forever and I can, you know, go ham and really fill up my tanks with a lot of this sand. Um, it's really nice. It is on the expensive side though, but um, if you do have the coin to spend, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's an ADA sand. Uh, they do other sands as well, but this is probably my favourite one of them. Um, I'm yet to test some of the other ones, but I do plan on grabbing some of them in the future. So next up here, I grabbed three of these little thermometers. Um, they only let you get three of them uh, with each purchase, so I thought I'll just get three. Um, once again, a little expensive for what they are, but I've always wanted some digital thermometers like these. Um, so I'm going to whack these probably in my shrimp tanks and then probably in my better tank. Um, but the good thing about these is you can still move them around. Uh, you just got to be careful you don't cross-contaminate anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are just one of those things I've always wanted to grab and uh, I think they were relatively, once again, pricey, but um, they weren't as pricey as I had seen before. So I thought, go ahead and grab a couple of these. And the final items that I got are up here uh, in this newspaper. Um, so I sort of had like a few dollars left on the uh, free shipping and I thought I'd just whack in some uh, Dragonstone because I'm yet to actually buy any Dragonstone. So we just got some random pieces. I think I got like three kilograms worth of Dragonstone. Some of these pieces are looking pretty cool. I could definitely see myself using these in maybe a small aquascape or uh, something like that. This one especially is really cool, it's got all these little holes and crevices, um, so that could be really cool for a little shrimp tank or something. Um, but once again, I'll probably end up using these in something more artsy, like a terrarium or a mini aquascape of some kind. So this is everything that I got from my little unboxing, uh, the dragon stones, the little thermometers and the sand. We'll definitely be putting this sand to use very quickly along with the thermometers and like I said about the dragon stone, um, probably hold off and see you know, if I find something, but it's good to have a little collection of rocks to sort of test things and do little aquascapes. I would also like to apologise for a lack of videos and streams lately. Uh, I've just been a bit busy with things and trying to work out and organise um, how I want to do some of these videos and how I want to stream and things like that. And like I said, now that I have some of this sand and some of these things ready to go, um, I'm going to have some more videos on some of this stuff and some more aquascapes and things like that that I'm going to be doing. I'm very happy with the purchase here today, so thank you to Aquarium Gallery. Uh, definitely go check out their website. So if you are looking for some of this sand, definitely go check out Aquarium Gallery. And that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.